Nobody who has an iota of humility in front of his creator, nobody who wishes to claim to follow any prophet of God would ever be so vulgar as this particular individual. Oh, hold on. Just remind me of something. I, I will find it. Let, let David Wood hear it. I mean, say what he going to say. Let me find this book. I just remember the book, which, I mean, this guy, he's saying nobody, nobody will say that. I mean, you are a Muslim. And supposedly you claim that all those books behind you, you know them. I want to ask you, did you have the book of a Suyuti? I think it's there. Is that the one? Is that the collection of a Suyuti? Let me see. It's the same color. Huh? Is that the same one? But not all the collection. Is that the one? Or I'm not sure it looked like it if I open right now the book of a Suyuti and as long you are the one who speaks nobody have the iota iota I don't know what iota mean what iota mean you guys tell me later iota do you have iota yourself say again what you said please he said Nobody who has an iota of humility in front of his creator, nobody who wishes to claim to follow any prophet of God would ever be so vulgar as this particular in Oh, hold on. I like that. And I found the book. Or let us say some quotation from the book. This is the book. The name of the book is Nawadir al Aik fi Ma'rifati. I cannot even say the word. The to know how to F. I mean, can you believe it? Even the name of the book, this is one of their highest scholars in Islam. His name, Al Imam Al Hafiz Jalal al Din wa Abdul Rahman ibn Abi Bakr al Suyuti. If I read for you guys, you will vomit. Did you remember what this guy he said? Nobody have the ayota. The guy saying, "Praise be to Allah." The one who made the breast of the woman, sorry, the young woman, oh sorry, he he decorated the chest of the women by breast the one who made the hips of the women uh, sorry the, the 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 butt of the women uh the one who made that uh, like a uh, uh, like a, a belt for the waist of the man and the one who made the the i don't know how to translate those languages i mean i, I don't usually use them uh, like you know the the side of the the butt one side you know so he says and the one who made the side of the butt or like one butt and the, like they are two part right so he made them like you know like waves you know like uh, like uh, uh, like deer and he made uh, their 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 asses like like an arrow for the penis or let us say he make their them a target for the arrow of their penis <laughs> so they can insert it and stab it inside the vagina not in the chest this is a book this is the start this is the introduction for the book all people Go F as you wish from the beautiful women and spend your life eating, drinking, and effing and ejaculating. Good for you, the one who made love of girls more than love of boys. Between 
dancing and fun and playing with the vagina I mean shall I continue shall I continue he described how you lift the, the legs of the women he described how she put her, her legs around your neck he described I mean I, I can just do this I can I don't think Google can translate you know perfectly but we can try <laughs> Look, Google translate the ass as a chicken. Stab the ch stab the chicken. <laughs> he made the your your here is penises like a spear to stab their vagina and their asses. This is the book of God. You kissed her, you, 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 you lift her leg, you kiss her cheek, and you rub her breast with your private part, and then you suck her lips, and you start your massage. This is a book of God. This is a man who is explaining to the Muslims their, the gift of Allah to them, one of their highest scholars. Look at this. The buttocks like a deer. The women buttocks like a deer. <laughs> anyway, see, this is how. So now, anyone who enter this chat, he will hear, like, what the heck? I mean, what kind of language in this channel is? And you are right. What kind of language is language? This is disgusting. But my friend, this is Islam. So when you see a fraud like this, coming to school us about speaking good. We are laughing. You are following a man, his name is Muhammad, and this is his religion. You see, if a Christian, he preached the gospel, the Muslims in Saudi Arabia, they will go after him, they will burn his house, they will kill him, they will kill his family. But those scholars who wrote those books, nobody get upset from them. Did this guy get killed for this book? No, you praise him, his book is taught, it, taught everywhere. You can go to any Islamic university, including Saudi Arabia, and you will find that all his books are there. Anyone is upset? But there will be why they will be upset? Their prophet is no better. What about a prophet? He say that the one who go to heaven, his penis will never go limp. His penis will never go limp. What about a prophet? He says, when you F a woman in the heaven, you will do dahman, dahman. I cannot explain to you dahman, dahman, but to make it, uh, I will make the sound of it, hitting two hands to together. This is dahman, dahman. And yet, those people, they are going to school us about manner. Or what about a God who described to us the vagina of the women in the heaven? That her vagina never been used. And no genie, neither man, did. I'm not going to use the F word, but this is what it says. This is God? Which language is that language? Which God is the God who used such a language? And what the promise this promise is? So this is our problem with Muslims and Islam and even with the Christians. Because we caught a filthy cult, it's called Islam. People, they get upset from us. But the purpose of this video this guy is making is just to slander David Wood so you as a Christian you will not listen to him. He's a bad person.
Did you hear he said the word penis? Oh yeah, David Wood, he said that. But he is quoting what your prophet did. Did you hear he said the word vagina? Oh yeah, he did that. But he is quoting what your prophet said. So your prophet, he can say it, he can. He can. Muhammad, if he call, if Muhammad say that, it's okay. Individual. No man of God would ever speak in such a vulgar fashion. Based on the authority of Dr. Qadi, we can now conclude that Muhammad and his companions were not men of God. Dr. Qadi is aware of the hadiths where Muhammad ordered his followers to tell certain people to go and bite their father's penises. There's a good discussion of this on the Muslim website, Islam q and A. I'll link to the article in the description box. It was narrated from Ubay ibn Kab that a man boasted in an ignorant manner of his tribal lineage. So he told him to bite his father's male member, and he did not use a metaphor. The people looked askance at him, so he said to the people, I can see what you are thinking, and I can only say this, that the Messenger of Allah, yada, 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 instructed us, if you hear someone boasting in an ignorant manner of his tribal lineage, then tell him to bite his father's male member and do not use a metaphor. Now, can you imagine Dr. Qadi's reaction if he started telling us about Muhammad and we responded, if you like Muhammad so much, why don't you go and bite his penis? How would he react? These men cannot be from God. They're disgusting. They're filthy. They're depraved. They're degenerates. But Ubay ibn Kab told people to go bite their father's penises because Muhammad ordered him to use this vulgar language. Dr. Qadi's response? You know, when Muhammad, he said, I do who be in the he's not only saying, go and tell him to bite his father's penis. That's not really what it just means. Because you have to go beyond the statement. When somebody, those Arab, you know, they have they have history of sexuality. If you have my book, Sex and Allah, you will find tons of information you never heard of. So those Arab, they have a history. They have different kind of marriages. They have different kind of relationship. Men, they sleep with men. Men, they sleep with women. Men, they sleep with boys. Men, they sleep with animals. Their uh, lifestyle is very sexual. So, bite the penis of your father. It's coming from where? What Muhammad he meant by that? Is the guy really is going to go and bite the penis of his father? Is that exactly physically what would happen? Some they say that when someone, when a, let us say, uh, subdued someone, he make him bite it. Not literally bite it by biting with teeth, but put it there. Is a way of subdued. So if you are really proud about your father, go and be subdued and bite your father. Literally, do it. Let us see it, as long as you are so proud about him. Because this is what Muhammad culture is about. This is the standard of his language. This is the normal language. He is not being rude. He is not being bad. This is how he speak. He's a savage. And people around him are savage like him. And they speak this language of savage. So what you expect from a savage prophet to say? You see, while Jesus was saying, the one who cursed you, forgive him. The guy, he did nothing. He just said, I am proud about my family. What's wrong with that? No, for Muhammad, you cannot be proud about your family unless they are Muslims. You see how savage he is? Your family have no value because they are not Muslims. If they are Muslim, it's fine. 
anyone he is proud about his family who they pre in, exist in the pre-islamic religion go and tell him bite the penis of your father if you are a person who know philosophy or logic maybe you can think about it and say what what does that mean exactly what is the purpose of saying to a man go and bite the penis of your father what is the accomplishment did muhammad correct him did muhammad say this is wrong no He's just insulting, saying, go and do such a thing, which is very stupid to say.